good morning. We are getting ready to go to Justice Gastro appointment. Um, this is the appointment that is really important to him about his weight. He's the one who's been pushing about the feeding tube and we're trying to avoid it as much as possible. I know a lot of kids benefit from it, but if it's one less procedure that Justice has to go through, then we are all for it. So we're trying to avoid it as much as possible. So. That's what we're gonna go do and hopefully he gained enough weight from the last time we saw him which I think was in November and that way um, he won't need it like um, I think when we went he was like 19 pounds and yesterday went to the doctor's appointment I had to make him a doctor appointment because he had a rash all over his body and it didn't go away the next day so I made him an appointment and um, they don't know what it is they think it's either viral or it's um, like a viral ri virus or it's um, from eating strawberries because he ate strawberries Sunday morning um, so yeah they don't know um, he's at, he has eaten strawberries before but never uh, not that large quantities in fresh form Dustin said he didn't eat that larger quantity but he's never we always give to him in purees or in a ready food so yeah that's what we're going to be doing um, I have to go drive an hour and 45 minutes and we're running behind so hopefully we make it in time so yeah see you in a little bit and we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting He still has this rash all over his body. But they told me it was okay to bring him to his appointment, so I went ahead. I didn't want to bring him out, it was something contagious, but they never, they don't know what it is, so. But they said to go ahead and bring him, so that's what I did. <laughs> just leaving Chipotle everything went well at his appointment we were very nervous about this appointment because this is the one where they were kind of really pushing the feeding tube and um, he was surprised at how much justice gained he kept asking like what were we feeding him like he was um, he wanted to know exactly what we were feeding him because he gained um, quite a bit of weight from the last time we were there and he was very impressed and very happy with the results and we are happy with the results so no feeding tube was mentioned this time. Um, he just said to keep on doing what we're doing and he'll see us again in three months. And if everything go continues the way it is going, then he will completely drop us. He wants to see us at least one more time before he drops us so we don't have to make the drive all the way to Springfield, which will be great because um, this is the only one that we're going to besides neurology. and. We were able to do neurology and the gastro appointment for in May um, for the exact same day so we don't have to make two separate drives so it'll just be one whole just one day of being here which is great because um, our insurance won't reimburse us for the travel to Springfield because it's just it's just under a hundred miles and it has to be over a hundred miles or over for us to get any kind of reimbursement for gas and food so yes um we get some reimbursement and we go to st louis so we do try to go to st louis just because we get the reimbursement for one and two is only um 50 miles difference basically or yeah it's just 50 miles difference so you know we'd rather drive a little bit extra just to get our whole gas paid um, reimbursed and our food reimbursed and if we happen to need to stay at a hotel, like if he has to stay overnight at the hospital for some reason, then they were reimbursed us for that too. But, um, but we're happy with the results, and um, hopefully we won't have to come back after May, and 
there'll be one less specialist for him to see now hopefully I know I know he'll he won't need them I know he won't I think he's up the he's on the right track um so yeah we're very happy um I'm gonna stop at Aldi's on my way home there's an Aldi's in Lebanon sorry excuse me and then we are going to head on home Aldi's we haven't been to this one before well just me and Justice but we we haven't been to this one before and but it's on my way home so we figured we'll stop by and get Justice his snack food because he still has his allowance and he's running out of snacks so I um, figured we'll stock up on his snacks for him I'm gonna do a quick Aldi haul of my son's snack food and this is his snack bin you can see it's running low and we try to fill this up you know okay like maybe once a month um this one's actually mine but he has a little bit of mixed fruit in here oh no he's taking off his glasses um three of these pouches left of puree food um i bought a reusable pouch so i can make my own purees and put them in here but I like to have these like for on the go. We just grab them and put them in the backpack and we can have them. Like today we just got back from Springfield and I took one. He had a, he had that, he had a banana today on the go. We just took a banana today. Can I have it please? Thank you. He got his lollipop from the doctor's office. Here you go Papa, you can have this one. So let's start, um, I got some more of these, and this one's a prune apple butternut squash with quinoa, and it's organic, and I got it because it has 110 calories, and I only have one left, um, you know, he's on high calorie, we try to count his calories, and this one's a banana apple apricot with rice, and this one's the same thing, I got two of those. And these are 80 calories for him. I'm going to put this out here and I'm going to... This is mine. I just left... I put it in there and I was getting out of the car. Justice was kind enough to get us some milk chocolates for the chocolate covered strawberry that we're going to be making. And he was also kind enough to get us these um, heart-shaped pasta. These were $1.99 at Aldi's. I know they're kind of, I mean, on the high end for pasta, but they're so cute. The little heart shapes. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Huh. Do you want to play with the bag, baby? Here, let me take the candy. Um, we normally don't buy him these, but I figured I'll try them out with him. Maybe he'll like them. I think he will like them. He had one, one time. Um, I think it was a little Debbie brand but there are blueberry muffins made with um, real blueberries and there's some more puree these are apple blueberry and banana these are also organic and these are 80 calories for one pouch um, these are um, flavor breakfast oatmeal like instant oatmeal um, we put peanut butter in this and he likes it and these are the cinnamon and spice is 170 calories per packet and the rest are 130 um, the apple and cinnamon and peaches and cream and strawberries and cream so the doctor said he could have like strawberries and as long as it's not fresh he can have strawberries until his rash goes away because we don't know what's causing his rash um, I did get him these uh, mac and cheese organic simply nature brand um, for when I work and over the weekend Dustin can make one for lunch for him while I'm sleeping if he can't decide what to make these are some diced peaches and 100% fruit juice and he likes these so they're come, there's four in a pack And some cereal bars. These are 120 calories. 
This one's blueberry. And I got the apple cinnamon. Same calorie count. And these are just snack foods. These are not like these are not like his meals, so we're not giving him complete junk all the time. It's just for a snack. And these are um, cinnamon applesauce. This one's a 90 calories per tub. And these um, roasted vegetable round crackers. So they're made out of wheat and vegetable. So I figured um, he's never had these, but he's been eating like the saltine crackers. He's been able to hold that and eat it, and we're trying to encourage him to feed himself since he's still learning how to self-feed. So I'm pretty sure he'll do good with this one. So that's it, and I think the cost was $21 and... Um, let me see right here. Or it's twenty-five dollars and five cents. I don't know where you can see that. $24.05. And I paid. Never mind. The total was $25.11. So for all of this, his snacks are ready. His he's all good to go for his snacks. This has to go over here. And he still has $26 of his allowance left. Which I don't think he's gonna need anything anymore. I think he's all set, so this can be saved for his birthday money. Um his birthday's coming up in April. So he is all set for like a month or two, maybe even more, because he has these, and I think they're individually wrapped. They sound like they are. Yep, they are. So, yeah, between these, um, maybe these, and then all of this, he'll be good for his snacks. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, we, I need to figure out what to make for dinner. Um, I need to babysit tonight um, here in an hour or two, so I need to figure out something quickly. Um, we did eat out for lunch. We had Chipotle, and I brought Dustin um, some Chipotle, and I dropped it off at his work. But that's what we had put in our, um, you know, on a budget to spend our allowance on to eat while we were in Springfield. So... That's what Justin and I did. We had, um, it's our favorite restaurant, so he completely devoured his food, and so did I. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to be making a budget video here soon. So we're going to go ahead and make a video of that here coming, um, maybe tomorrow, since um, I need to go pick up the mm -hmm. kid babysit, and my evening will be pretty full. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.